Yo, what's good? Hey, I'd like to welcome y'all to my very first YouTube video, man. I ain't never did no shit like this before, so y'all bear with me, man. I, I decided to do this because, you know, I own a lot of guns, so my homies and my family was like, hey, you should do YouTube videos. I think it's dope, too, because I watch them all the time, so I figured, why not? I was going to make my first video be a, a my... 2021 collection video or my 2020 2021 whatever i'm trying to say uh video but you know i'm gonna do that later i'm gonna let y'all know i ain't no super technical dude i don't i don't get into all the trigger weights and a bunch of the other stuff that i that some of the experts you know talk about that ain't me i'm just a regular gun guy just just a dude that that like guns man i love these things so without holding y'all up any longer i want to introduce y'all to sugar booger i know you saw it in the title mm-hmm you see her it's my fnx 45 you know i love fn man they make some dope firearms so let's do a safety check make sure she's safe all right i'm gonna drop the mag ain't nothing in there all right i don't know if y'all can see in there or not but around you know ain't nothing in there it's safe right um i love this gun man i've had it now for about i say probably going on a year or so um but yo this a dope gun if you if you're in the market for a 45 yep i absolutely recommend it it's dope um what attracted me to it you know the selling point for me for this for this gun was was the magazine capacity right for 45 acp um a lot of 45s be you know eight nine rounds maybe 10 12 i don't know but this was 15 rounds and i this is 15 rounds double stack and i thought that was that was dope so that made me look into it and then when i did my research um it had a lot of good reviews they make a tactical version of this so you'll see a lot of videos on the tactical version I didn't necessarily need the tactical version. Um, I probably would have bought it if, if they had it at the time, but this this was in stock, so I picked it up. Um, and I love it, to be honest with you. Um, not only that, it came with three of these. So, you know, it come with three magazines, man, three 15-rounders. And, and me being me, yeah, I added a couple more magazines to it, too. So I, I, got, like, I got, like, five magazines for this thing. Um, FN gives you this this case right so this case came with it um i'm not gonna you know dwell on the case because y'all you know when you buy uh, most guns come with cases a lot of them do rather um and it just came with the regular stuff you know the book the trigger lock uh it did come with a with a with a back strap i think well i know um so that's that dope case so if you need to take it to the range with you or whatever however you want to use the case if you decide to use it um other than that it's like you know everything on this gun is ambidextrous right i hope I, did i say that right y'all let me know in the comments right y'all know what i mean though everything on both sides of it so like you know you see the tr the safety lever right if i can get that in the camera you see so it's like it's comfortable on my thumb here so i can flip that that safety lever up and down you can see it move on this side um, it's got the, the mag release on both sides. So there go your mag release right there on both sides. So to me, that feature alone is what a lot of people look for. Um, it makes it a dope handgun, you know, and this, this gun could be used for anything. So like if you, you want to use it for self-defense, home defense, if this was the only gun you could own or, or you did own, It'd be enough, you know. That's a lot of power, man. Fifteen rounds shooting these, shooting these overweight levels right here. You see that? Yeah, y'all see it. That's that's a lot of firepower. Forty-five ACP, fifteen rounds. You got it. Come with three magazines, you know. In my case, you got five. That's that's a lot, you know. So, um, and everything about it, man. I, I've never had an issue with it. I probably ran 800 to 1,000 rounds through this thing, and I ain't never had an issue with it. It's kind of big. I don't know. 
I imagine some people use it as a carry gun. I'm not sure if I would. I, you know, great car gun. Yep, great car gun. So, like, you know, um, but just to give you a sense of how the size it is or how big it is, um, I got my I got my Glock 19 right here. So you can, hold on, let me make sure. Because this one, ah, there we go, that's a little better. Yeah, sorry about that, but I, I kind of really keep that one with me a lot. Um, so if you're familiar with the Glock 19, um, I just wanted to bring it in to show you guys the size comparison. So if I put them, put the tops of them there, that's the, that's the FNX 45 on top, Glock 19 on the bottom. Um, show them to you from the back. And I don't even have the mag inside the FN. It's still longer. So if I add, put the mag in there, you can see. Pull that Glock up a little bit. So you kind of get an idea of what I'm saying. I can lay them down here. I don't know if you guys can really see that. I point them up. You see the FN sticks up a little bit more. So it's it's bigger, um, but not crazy bigger, right? And a lot of people carry carry these uh, these Glock 19. So, yeah, of course, you could carry this. I mean, some people don't like the manual safety when they carry their they weapon, you know. Me, either way. So if, I, if I'm carrying a Glock which don't have the manual safety, I'm used to it. If I carry this, I'm used to it as well, you know, because I keep the safety on. If I ever had to, you know, draw, my, my habit is to pull up and, you know, I'm popping the safety off as I'm, you know, pulling the gun out. And it's... You know, I didn't, I've gotten so used to it, but, you know, either way, it's a dope gun if you want to carry it, if, you know, whatever you want to do, um, it'll do the trick. It's very reliable. And to be a 45, this thing don't got a lot of recoil at all. I'm, I'm going to have to post a video of me shooting it. I might, like, put the video into this video um, just to show y'all me shooting it. You, you'll see that it don't have a lot of recoil whatsoever. So that's, that's something that people want to know. Um, another cool thing about it, it's really easy to, to take apart, take down and clean. You just lock the slide back, right? And right here on this side, it's got that takedown lever. You just pull that lever down, you know, and I'm sure you guys have seen this before. A lot of firearms work that way, so it's easy to take it apart, you know. And I'm not going to go through the whole, you know, removing the spring and the barrel or whatever. But that's it. That's the only other two parts that you would really have to take apart, um, to clean this thing or whatever so it, it's, it's really easy probably a little easier than the Glock if you're familiar with how to break the Glocks down so you know I like that I like that sometimes I look for that ease of use it's double single action um, it's um, <clears throat> it's got the Picatinny rail up here on the bottom so if you wanted to install a light or a laser or a light and laser or whatever you might want might want to put on it that's all good. Um, the safety lever also works as a decocker, so you can just pop the safety lever down. It brings the handle, the hammer back. I mean, um, man, I love this thing. I absolutely recommend it. You know, get you one. Get you one. I, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I paid about six fifty for this thing. Um, well worth it. You know. 15 plus 1, 45 ACP, FN. Yeah, I, I have no complaints whatsoever. So um, if you're in the market for one of these, get you one. I, I love the way it feels, right? Like like it feels good in the hand. And like I told you, you can shoot this thing with one hand because it don't have a lot of recoil, you know? And that's not true for all 45, you know? So, you no, know, that, that part of it is dope. I love it. It's, it's so comfortable in my hand. So... That's why it's one of my favorite handguns. Now, it may not be my favorite one out of my collection, but it's definitely in the top three. So, yo, this thing is good, man. So, you know, I mean, that's that. I don't know what else I would be able to tell you. You could take a look at the sights. So, this is what they look like. Now, I thought about, like, um, what do you call it? Like, using a sight pen and then turning the sight. See that? turn the sights like a more a louder color like some type of neon but i'm usually able to get the sight picture pretty quick i'm pretty accurate with this so you know i'm i haven't done it yet so i'm probably not gonna do it 
Um, I haven't done anything to it. I try. To, I keep this one kind of plain Jane. I got a couple guns that I um, that I've done some things to, but this is not one of them. So, again, I totally recommend this thing. Y'all excuse any noise you hear in the background. It's probably my furnace. I'm in the Chicago area, so it's cold here. So if I if I turn that off, it create a bigger problem for me. So, but either way, if you're in the market for a 45, definitely check out the F and X 45. Either this particular one or the um, or the tactical one. If you're into that tactical thing, right? So that's it, man. I really appreciate y'all tuning into my first video. If it made any sense to you or or helped you out to learn a little bit more about this gun, you know, like, subscribe, you know, leave me a comment, tell me where I fuck, tell me where I screwed up at, um, and that's that. Appreciate y'all. Sugar book. Hey, yo, water boy. Had to play my part and I stayed down until I came up. Don't play with getting a call on game because they dangerous. If I come to your party, won't come here without these bangers. I don't trust nobody.